welcome back to another video if you're new here you are welcome my name is natia on today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i use okra to grow my hair and my baby girl's hair so basically as you guys can see my baby girl's hair how it has transformed for that first video that you guys just watched to this video so all these natural ingredients are working if you are really consistent using them so my first ingredient is going to be okra okra is great for hair okra is pretty much great for everything in your body if you have not been using it you can also be drinking okra um water for your body for your health in general so okra is really beneficial when it comes to your health so i will advise that you add okra into your you know health remedy so my next ingredient was fenugreek seed fenugreek seed is also very great when it comes to uh, minimize shedding if your hair is shedding a lot and if you are not experiencing volume for your hair i would recommend that you try fenugreek seed which is also very great when it comes to add a lot of volumes to your hair so i went ahead to cook both of them in a pot i just add a plenty of water because fenugreek seed really needs time to cook so you really need to add um a lot of water inside the pot and just let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and after that you can set it aside and you can go ahead and blend it with any powder of your choice so basically i was using a uh, moringa powder here and moringa powder really helped to strengthen your hair it also helped to add a lot of volumes and it also grow your hair really fast if you are consistent using them in fact moringa powder is also very great um, to drink it if you can drink moringa powder maybe once in a week it would be really great for your health and um yeah so after that i went ahead to you know blend everything together and now i'm gonna be adding some some of my diy hair growth oil if you don't have any diy hair growth oil just add extra olive oil or coconut oil which is also going to be fine so now i'm gonna be applying the mask on my baby girl's hair today was our wash day guys i have to wash the hair whenever it comes to my wash day it always take <laughs> her wash day obviously it always take a lot of time because i always make sure to wash her hair first to take out all the the old uh product build up that i have on her scalp before i can go ahead and treat her hair again so we actually did that first we washed the hair and um you know wash the scalp really good and now i will be applying the mask on her hair and then i will leave her hair for like 45 minutes uh to just sit with the mask and then later i can go ahead and rinse the hair again and condition the hair again and wait for another 15 minutes and then rinse the hair again guys <laughs> to really maintain your kids hair is not easy okay it takes a lot of time this is also what i do to my hair if i every of my wash day is always taking a lot of time so first i have to wash my hair first wash my scalp and then i will use the mask on my hair and then i have to wait for another 45 minutes and after that i have to use a conditioner wait for another 15 minutes and like it takes a lot of time but when you're seeing a result like this you will just be happy because all your hard work do pay yes <laughs> whatever you work hard for it always if you see a good result like this you would just you would be excited if you know what i mean so yeah my baby girl's hair is growing really nice now i love the way the hair is growing it's giving a lot of volumes okay the volume is volume okay and before the hair used to be thin now it's very thick and um i literally can just see how the hair is growing um the way i am maintaining the hair as well is really you know it's paying off okay it's paying off yeah you have to be consistent whatsoever ingredient you're using on your hair and or your baby girl's hair you just have to be consistent 
okay and you don't have to manipulate the hair too much in fact when it comes to kids hair you don't need to be using a lot of attachment for their hair i do mention that on one of my videos and i got the comment somebody was saying that yeah but we do grow with attachment so basically our kids that we born here just can't my baby girls out because she's mistress so if you have um, um like a baby from africa and she was born here you and your, your husband born the baby here so you don't really need to be using a lot of attachment for their hair because they was not born in africa they was born in europe if you know what i mean so the 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 weather that they was born to it's kind of different to when you born a kid in africa of course attachment is good for our hair but when your kid is born here i don't recommend you be using attachment for their hair like that just be braiding their hair with your natural hair twist their hair with your natural hair check a very easy simple style on social media you can see you can just use the style to you know maintain their hair you will see whenever you take down the braid or the twist their hair is going to be growing really nice but if you are be using attachment on their hair their hair will be getting tougher and tougher like hard and dry out the whole time but if you're if you will be using the if you if you use their natural hair to be braiding their hair you are going to be seeing a different their hair will be soft will be easy to manipulate and also not drying out the whole time so that's basically what i do to my kids hair i always use their natural hair i remember i used one's attachment for my baby girl's hair i saw the different and then i was like never i would never use attachment on her hair again her hair was dry all the coils was gone the hair was really really hard to manipulate at the end of the day so i told myself mm -mm, no so you have a beautiful hair and we just have to be, you know, using your natural hair to be braiding your hair. Whatsoever style I want to do, I will use your own natural hair to do that. If that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, this is her hair. And I'm just uh, applying the mask on her hair. And I'm going to be massaging her scalp. Scalp massage is also very great when it comes to stimulating the scalp, um, the blood flow to your scalp. So, if you have any mask on your hair or any oil treatment you always make sure to mas massage your scalp uh, scalp massage can really help as well so massage your scalp and after that just go ahead and cover your hair with a any plastic bag of your choice and you can let the hair to sit for about five minutes or so and then you can rinse it out um if you want to rinse it out with shampoo if you want to wash it with shampoo you can also wash it with shampoo but for me i always rinse the hair out yes that's another thing that i'm doing to my hair and my baby girl's hair as well so whenever i i first wash my hair and then i can apply the mask on my hair and then later i will just rinse the mask out thoroughly like really really good and then later i can use a conditioner to comb the hair again and cover my hair again for another 15 minutes then try and rinse everything out thoroughly again so that method is also very great i think that way the mask can really get the time to you know to work on your hair yeah like i said before after that you just have to put your hair on straight to protective style put your hair in any protective style of your choice so at the end of the day when you take it out your hair is gonna be beautiful and nice i hope you guys like and enjoy this video if you have watched this hair then please do not forget to smash that red subscribe button follow your girl and hope to catch you on my next one much love bye bye